hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl naomi and in today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys five Nigerian fiction books that i think you should read because if you love to read okay so real quick real quick story very quick two seconds so like a lot of people, you know, in my generation, I started reading and, you know, most of the books I read growing up are about like white people and Nigerian. Um, most of the books I read growing up are about like white people and white characters and I just didn't really see myself in those characters. And so The Order of Garden, I have intentionally sought out to read black fiction books. I'm going to be like making this into like a series and like dividing it into like different black fiction books. So today's edition, we're going to be talking, I'm going to be recommending there's so many more that I have in my on my bookshelf, but just for today, I'm going to be recommending five Nigerian fiction books that I think you should read. I'm going to give you a very short snippet of what each one is about, and yeah, and I'm going to be recommending them to you guys to read because they're amazing. Um, I'm also going to do other ones, so my Caribbeans don't feel left out. I do have some very good Caribbean fiction as well. I'm going to do a regular like African American fictions as well. They're very like literary literary fiction, good books. Today's edition, I am going to be recommending to you guys five Nigerian fiction books I think you should read. Part one, because I have more. <laughs> the first one that I'm going to be recommending is called The Secret Lives of Baba, Shaji, Baba Shaggy's Wives. The Secret Lives of Baba Shaggy's Wives. And actually, I like this book because it's set um, in the city. Some of my haters like to say it, but it's not a city. You put our haters. But anyways, it's set in the city that I grew up in, which is the better, you know, you'll see. Um, <laughs> so I really like that because um, I remember like the first time I read this, um, I remember like reading it and being like, wow, I know what that is, you know, um, like some of the references and it just feels really good to read a book that, you know, it just feels really good to like read a book and you're like, wow, I literally can relate. I know what that is, blah, blah, blah. So this book is written by the Yoruba lady. Her name is Lola Shonenyi. Lola Shonenyi, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm mispronouncing her name. It's bugging me. Her name is Lola Shonenyi, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's really bothering me. Her name is Lola Shonenyi, Shonenyi. Okay, I don't know how to pronounce her name. But anyways, her name is Lola. Um, and this book is about the secret lives of Baba Shaggy's wives. It's a story about um, a man. Um, he's married, but he's a polygamous man. And so a new wife comes into... Um, the household which then begins to stir up drama and reveals some things there's this bit of like a mystery going on um it's a little bit of like mystery going on so her appearance into the household reveals some things that you definitely will be shocked by and that you definitely love to read definitely check out this book it's a pretty really good one it's called the secret lives of baba shaggy's wives and this book has been out for a long time so i remember reading this when i was like 15 14 years old and now I'm 24. So it's been out for like over 10 years now. So definitely read this. Next, the next book is this one. Oh my gosh. It's called Stay With Me by Ayabani Adebayo. And great book. Great book. So this book is also written by Yoruba Lady. Um, and I don't know why I'm supposed to, I'm differentiating the tribes. But anyways, it was written by a Yoruba Lady. Uh, my name is Ayabani Adebayo. And this book is set in Elisha Usher State, um, primarily. And this book is pretty much a story. Oh, I love this book. The first time I read this book, I literally could not drop it till I was done reading it. Like, that's how you know it's a good book, you know? And so this book is a story of a couple, a young married Nigerian couple, um, who are childless and they're struggling with infertility. And you know, if you, if you know anything, if you've ever watched a Nollywood movie or you know anything about like Nigerian culture, when it comes to infertility, there's drama. So there's drama in this book. It's fun. It literally grips you. It's like drama. Like I'm telling you, real. And so like, you know that, mm, I don't want to spoil it. There's like tea in this book, like real tea. So definitely check it out. And I'll definitely, if you've read it, I would love to like hear your thoughts on this book now okay you know what i'm gonna save this one for last the next book that i will be reviewing is called the girl with the loud voice 
and I, dang, am I bad? I feel like I, I feel bad that like okay, this is part one, okay? I feel bad that a lot of these books are written by except for one's not written by a Yoruba lady, but I feel bad that these books are written by Yoruba um, ladies. But I do have some books written by other tribes within Nigeria that I'll be sharing in part two. Um, but I do have one written by an Igbo lady in this um, book, so don't don't close out the video yet. The next one is called The Girl with the Loud and Voice by Abby Dari. Um, and this book is really good. Um, it's a story about a young girl. You know, like growing up in Nigeria, we often saw like house girls. A lot of us had, you know, house girls and um, young girls were like helping. We, we had that help in Nigeria, unfortunately. And so this book really takes us to the, pers uh, it's a story like the, from the perspective of this young girl that, um, becomes a housemaid and it just like chronicles the story and um it's written actually in quite a very like almost like in pidgin english um it's not written in like proper english um because you know this girl is uneducated she's a little bit literate great book definitely recommend reading it it's called the girl with the loudest voice the next book is called in every mirror she's black it is written by lola akimade akastrom and also a Yoruba lady. Um, it's called In Every Mirror She's Black. And now this book, it's a bit of a, there's an asterisk next to it because it's not primarily um, about a Nigerian, about, it's not primarily like, it's not set in Nigeria. Um, one, it's actually like a story that covers, I believe three or four women and it follows their lives, but one of them is Nigerian. And aside from that, it not being fully Nigerian. One of the main characters is Nigerian and you know, it does like, we do explore like her Nigerian identity. But overall, great book. Loved this book as well. I definitely recommend that you read it as well. Thank me later. Now the next book that I have for you guys. Did I spell it? Now, if you know me, if you know Naomi, you, like if we're having a discussion, if it just gets a little bit deep, there's a huge chance that I've said, oh my gosh, this reminds me of Americana because literally this book amazing. I've probably read this book. No, okay, I've probably read it and I'm not exaggerating at least 10 times in my life. Like, this is one book you know, like there's some TV shows or movies you can watch over and over again. This is that book for me. I can read it over and over and over again. I love the story so much. I love the characters so much. I love the writing so much. I love the author so much. I love the story so much. Did I say I love the story so much? There's so much complexity, so much topics, so much like identity, just so, it's so multifaceted. That's the thing. This book is called Americana by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. I really love this book. It follows the stories of two young um, adults in Nigeria Opinze and Ipimelu and how um, they both had to leave Nigeria due to Nigeria and Nigerian. Um, but it's not literally, I feel like, honestly, I feel like trying to explain this book will do it a disservice because it will be me just trying to um, summarize it. And I don't want to like, I, I don't want to like just make it too concise, but this book talks about race. It talks about identity, it talks about love, it talks about country, it talks about so much. Like, I love this book so much. So I really, 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 really encourage you guys to read it. Seriously, if you had to pick between all the books I recommended and you only had to, you only want to read one, read this one. Seriously. Like, to some extent, to know this book is Snow Me. I love this book so much. And, ooh, okay, remember how I was talking about how, you know, when you read a book with... Um, the secret life of Baba said Jesus wife. Remember with this book, I you know I love how you know um, it's set in Ibado and I can relate to that. Some scenes in this book is set in Philadelphia and actually I'm not I'm not gonna like I, I don't want to I don't want to say too much but actually this book literally mentioned my strip. Like I love it. I love the fact that I can picture it. You know I love that some scenes are set in um, Philadelphia. So I really like that about this book. So yeah. Thank you for watching.